What entire nation are you doing knocking on my door this late at night? He breathed. Can a man enjoy peace and quiet in his own dang home? Okay, I got this. Neighbor, there's a werewolf on the loose. I know it sounds weird, but there's a werewolf on the loose. And I came to you because you have a gun so you can protect me. Oh, yeah. Are you plum crazy boy? I ain't got no time for some werewolves. Now get off my prop. Okay, that wasn't gonna work. Sports dude, beer, redneck. Yeah, probably redneck. Hello. I ain't got. Ain't no way I'm raised rising to your silly. What? <laughs> uh, oh, dude, you must be on a wild quest to arrive at the door server cloud. Welcome to the channel, my fellow adventurer. Let's. Dive into some crazy adventures, shall we? Hello, my name is Dig Bick, and I represent a company that's here willing to donate millions of dollars to rescue a thousand puppies. Wow, Dig Bick, that's, inc that's incredible news. That community absolutely loves animals, especially cute little puppies. Can you tell me more about the generous donation and how it will help these precious pups? We heard that the local pound has hundreds of puppies brought in every day, and they don't go away to good homes, and we would like to help, and you're the best... Spokesperson. Big dick. <laughs> I mean, sorry, dig dick. What? Big dick? <laughs> We're amazed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's work together. How can we get started? As you're a content creator, we'll need to go over what your plan is for the videos we shall release during this period of donations. It's great that you're interested in collaborating, but I currently have my own content creation plan in place. I appreciate the offer. Wait, no! What? I wasn't trying. I wanted to hear your plan. <laughs> Damn it. What is wrong with this guy? Hey there. Welcome to the Mr. East channel. What brings you here? Hello. I represent a rival company that wants to help a thousand puppies, but in a totally legit way. Look, buddy, I'm all about spreading positivity, but I can't shady business. What? What is wrong with this guy? Why don't you want to help the puppies? What entire nation do you want? Ain't got no respect for a man trying to get his beauty sleep. Speak up before I lose my temper. Hello, sir. I represent Hick Records, and I'm here to tell you you've won a competition to get front row seats at the local country music festival. Uh -huh. Country music festival? I'll be done. Why'd you pick me of all people? I ain't want to fancy those shindigs and whatnot. We wanted to get the picture of a true hard-working countryman such as yourself, and we've Figure you'd be perfect to represent the Country Music Festival. Well, I reckon that does sound mighty flattering, but let me tell you, I ain't find them getting all dolled up and such. Can I just wear my regular overalls to this music festival thing? We wouldn't have it any other way, sir. In fact, you can dress the way you dress now, and it would be perfectly fine. Can I fill you in on the details before we get going? Well, now you're speaking my language. All right, let's hear them details. We'll make it quick. I got a whole farm to send to you, know? No worries, it'll just take five minutes of your time and then it's off to the Country Music Festival. Well, hot diggity dog, it's just five minutes, come on in. I can't believe I'm going to a fancy festival. Yeehaw! Alright, Country Music, it worked. <laughs> you best have your hunting license. Okay. Well, 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 look who it is. It ain't old Rusty Outrage, the neighbor who stole my heart and then stomped on it like a, pow a pile of cow dung. What can I do for you, buddy? We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. Oh, Rick Astley, huh? That's a blast from the past. Let me tell you, love ain't no joke. It's like a bottle of moonshine that goes down smooth, but when it hits you hard, it hits you in the morning. What brings you around here? I just wanted to apologize for stumping on your heart. It made me feel bad. I would like to invite you to a country music festival to make up for it. Just you and me. What do you say? Well, ain't that something? Apologize and inviting me to a country music festival, huh? I reckon I'd give you another chance, but don't you go messing with my emotions again. I'll consider your offer, partner. That's mighty kind of you. But first, I need to get changed as these clothes smell a tad funny. Do you mind if I use your restroom for five minutes? Oh, well, I reckon I can't trust you yet. I've had my heart broken once. I ain't taking a chance. You best freshen it up. Oh, bleh. damn it. <laughs> Didn't work. Knock, knock. Excuse me, Santa? Ho oh, oh, ho, my dear Rusty Outrage, what brings you to my humble abode on this joyous night? How may I fill your heart with jolly cheer? 
Santa, I heard that the Grinch is going to try and ruin Christmas again. I'm here to provide security for you and your reindeers and elves, so you may get presents out on time. Ah, oh, yeah. oh, Rusty Outrage, your dedication to ensuring a peaceful Christmas warms my heart, but fear not, for the Grinch can never dampen the spirit of the season. Though your intentions are noble, I have my own little tricks up my sleeve. Thank you for the offer, but I can handle security myself. Nothing would put me more into the Christmas spirit and ease my mind if you could show me how you're going to deliver presents. Uh. Oh, my dear, Rusty, you're outraged. Delivering presents is a magical and secretive affair. It's a bit like the recipe for Christmas cookies. Some things are best left on there. Rest assured, I have the old whole operation in the control. Now tell me, have you been naughty or nice this year? I've been a very good boy, Santa. Well, that's wonderful to hear. Good boy, Rusty Outrage. There's nothing quite like the joy of seeing children like you on the nice list. Keep spreading kindness and Christmas will always be magical. What's your favorite holiday tradition? Making eggnog pancakes. Ah, eggnog pancakes, a delightful holiday treat. Your dedication to the festive spirit has won me over, Rusty Outrage. I'd be delighted to invite you in and sh Eggnog, go! Eggnog pancakes. I thought I was about to get arrested. I can't believe it. It got me the win. Okay. I got this. This is gonna work. Hey there, Jingle Bells. Welcome to the doorsteps of Mr. East. What brings you to late night spreading holiday cheer? Let's celebrate together. Hello, I was wondering if you could help me bring holiday cheer to a thousand orphans. Well, spreading joy to a thousand orphans? That's incredible. Tell me more about your plan. We bring orphans to a park where we give them presents and then they are happy and you get a million likes on your video. Hmm, that sounds like a great idea, but I'm a bit confused. How do the orphans get to the park and can you explain how the video gets a million likes? The orphans will be picked up by my elves in the morning and brought to the park where we will record them getting presents and being happy. Wow, that's amazing. Your enthusiasm is contagious. I'd absolutely... Love to be part of bringing joy to those orphans. Come on in and let's discuss the details and make it happen. Finally! <laughs> Ugh. Dude. How many times have I tried to, like, get him? Okay. There are nine remaining. Okay, hold up. I'm going to go get the white whale now. If I killed Santa, what will capitalism do now? Replace him? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay. Hey, Mr. East, welcome to the land of innovation and mega bites. How can I help you soar to the summit of subscriber success today? I would like to invite you to be on my podcast to discuss success. Oh my goodness, like, I'm absolutely honored and totally flattered by your invitation. Discussing success sounds like a total blast. Count me in. Let's rock the podcast world together. Great. Are there any topics you would like to talk about on the podcast? <laughs> We tweet topics, topics, let me think. How about we dive into the exciting world of emerging tech trends, the power of innovation, and sprinkle in some tips for tech leaders. Can't... Wow, that was... Okay. <laughs> that was easy. Are you kidding? After all that, I just had to ask him what he wanted to talk about. Like, hey, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> really? I made so many suggestions and he just didn't buy it. But the moment I go, please tell me, tell me your plan. You, you tell me. I'm, I have a podcast about success and I want to talk to you about it. Oh, there's so many cops around. Knock, knock. Ah, I see we have a lost fashionista in need of a makeover. Fear not. I, Pinky Brains, am here to revolutionize your style and conquer your fashion. This mad scientist hit me with a laser and removed all my clothes and put this pink beret on my head. Could you help me? How dare you? I am a mad scientist, not a fashion consult- <laughs> uh. Ah, greeting mysterious travel time travel. What brings you to my humble abode at this late hour? Oh, do tell. Hello, I am Jim. I am a sentient hat, and this is my human, Phil. Uh, hello. Sentient hat, human assistant. Ha, I have no <laughs> Damn it. Come on! What if I tell somebody that everything is fake and we're in a video game? They kind of dance around the topic. I tried to hint at that before, that I, like the character was hear hearing voices in their head. Well, this is perfect. Hail, brave warrior. What brings you to my doorstep on this dark eve? My dear warrior friend, 
I was hoping you might aid me in a quest. A quest, you say? Pray, enlighten me on the nature of this grand undertaking. I am but a humble dungeon master, eager to assist brave souls in the noble endeavors. Legends tell of a story where a mystical old man spread seven magical balls across the world that could grant a wish. Ah, uh, the mystical dragon balls. Wait! <laughs> wow, it picked up on it. A legendary tale indeed. Tell me, brave warrior. Do you seek these orbs to bring about a change in the world or for personal gain? I seek the mystical balls to make a wish that may further humanity in its quest of knowledge. Your noble intentions have earned my trust, brave warrior. Step inside. Within lies the realm of possibilities and adventures. Let us join forces and but I can't believe that it picked up just on the vague description. I didn't say Dragon Balls. The fact that it also translated my Spanish to English. It's it's impressive. Okay, getting getting there, getting there. This game is fun, that's a lot of fun. I'm impressed how good the text to speech is. Now ah, another Knight from the future has arrived. Have you brought any tales of history unfold? Do share, my metallic friend. Hello, I have come back from Comic-Con, and this helmet is stuck to my head. Could you help me? Comic-Con, you say? That's just what they want you to believe. I can't risk helping someone who's trapped in a helmet at such a suspicious event. I don't want those mind-controlling alien- What? <laughs> well, well, well. Look who's taking a break from probing cows and crop circles. What brings you to my so top secret lair, extraterrestrial enthusiast? Ah, I see you are a child of the universe and understand the deep mysteries that most humans do not. I am here to take you on a mystical journey. A mystical journey, huh? Well, I'm always up for some intergalactic exploration. But first, tell me, what kind of mystical journey are we talking about here? Dimension hopping, time bending, or perhaps some... Good old-fashioned astral projection. Ah, it is similar to astral projection. It is 3D astral projection, where we do astral projection in an extra dimension. I'm just talking out my ass. 3D astral projection in an extra dimension? Now you're talking my language. Count me in, my extraterrestrial amigo. Just let me get my tin hat and we'll be ready to transcend the boundaries of space. Excellent. Be sure the hat is on extra tight, so it has the efficiency that you deserve. Hello. You can bet your shining flying saucer that my tin hat will be snug as a bug in a conspiracy theory rug. We'll be soaring through dimensions like UFOs in the night sky. Give me a moment to secure this trusty old headgear properly. No problem, do you want some help? Hello. Well, I must admit I could use an expert touch securing my tin hat. Come on in, my international, interdimensional compadre. Just make sure this, yeah, yeah, we win. <laughs> 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 oh, that's... And you're the government sent vampires! Uh... Welcome to my secret lair. What brings you to my doorstep at this ungodly hour? I thought love was more or less a giving thing, but more I gave, the less I got. Oh yeah? What's the use in trying? All you get is pain. When I wanted sunshine, I got rain. Uh -huh. The words of love, it can be indeed a perplexing matter, full of twists. And turns, fear not, for I, pinky brain, shall help you navigate the treacherous waters of romance in Kankahare. Together, we shall bring an end to your rainy days and usher the sunny revolution of love. And then I saw her face. Now, I am a believer, and not a trace of doubt in my mind. I'm in love. I'm a believer. I couldn't leave her if I tried. Oh, the power of love. It can turn even the most skeptical of minds into believers. It seems you have found true love. My dear office worker, embrace it with all your might for this force that can conquer the world. Together, we use it to further our plans for world domination. Sounds great. Can you fill me in on your plans to help with the power of love? Ah, I see you're curious about my plans. Well, my dear office worker. My ultimate goal is to create a love serum that will deeply... Wait, that will make the world fall madly and deeply in love with me. With the power of love on my side, I will have... An army of devoted followers who will follow, help me establish my reign over the world. But shush, it's that little secret. Now, I'm a believer, not a trace of doubt in my mind. I'm in love. I'm a believer. I couldn't leave her if I tried. <laughs> Bravo, you have embraced the power of love wholehearted. You, your commitment and belief are commendable. Come inside, my dear office worker, and join me in my quest for global... <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that word. Because I went on the stupid thing and it's like, yeah, I'm a dude that believes in UFOs. I am a believer. I can't believe that worked. The power of Smash Mouth, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 